This is a modified version of something that I presented at the HPA Tech Retreat uh, during the HDR session or High Dynamic Range session on February 18th. Now, HDR offers the most bang for the bit. Here are three charts and I've normalized the vertical axes and the greatest vertical travel indicates the uh, most improvement and on the left is going from HD to UHD or 4K and very limited improvement there. In the middle is going to a higher frame rate and there you do get a significant improvement but you also have to double the bit rate for every doubling of the frame rate. And at the right is some information on watching HDR and you can see that there's a tremendous improvement and very, very little additional bits required, anything from zero to maybe something around 20%. Now, the good news about HDR, the equipment is basically here. Um, there's conversion available both from um, older media or two older TV sets and also between different forms of HDR. Um, so we're basically all set from scene to screen, um, or at least it's in progress. But there's a really big but. And here's the but. Let's take a look at the Ultra HD premium specification. This is something that um, TV sets have. And as far as HDR is concerned, they have two versions, either uh, more than a thousand nits of peak brightness and less than 0 0.05 nits of black level. That's basically for LED, uh, sorry, LCD type TVs with a backlight. Uh, or more than 540 nits of peak brightness and less than 0 0.0005 nits of black level, which is really, 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 really dim. But let's say that you make a program like that and you send it to somebody who has a UHD TV and you then expect them to see it. Except when people watch TV, here's a very old TV, uh, the TVs have certainly changed, but the environment hasn't. So there's a lamp on in the room, or maybe the Venetian blinds are open. Um, here's a movie that came out last year, Steve Jobs' movie, and i uh, going to give you a spoiler alert. I'm about to tell you something that's in the movie. It's not a big spoiler because in the first few minutes of the movie it comes out. In all three acts of the movie, the movie is sort of divided into three acts. One, the introduction of the Macintosh. One, the introduction of the next computer. And one, the introduction of the iPhone. And in all three of those, um, Jobs wants to do a complete blackout, but can't because there are exit lights that are on. Well, it's not only the exit lights that are an issue. Here is a um, demo of 4K that Sony did in uh, a UK theater. And notice how much light is coming off the screen. You can see it on the ceiling and you can see it on the walls and it's even illuminating the audience. So here's an issue with UHD. If you have this nice high bright stuff, it's going to come off the screen and bounce off the viewers and bounce off the walls and bounce off the floors and then go back to the screen. So maybe uh, we have to have these HDR viewing accessories um, to get people not to be so bright. But even so, Here's a typical home TV environment, and the lowest screen reflection to date, of which I'm aware of, is 0.4%. And again, that UHD Premium HDR black level is 0 0.0005 nits. Uh, if somebody turns on a light anywhere in the vicinity of the TV, you're not going to get to that black level. So are we going to use some kind of illumination sensor in the TV and then change the HDR uh, version of the color grading so that it matches what the screen illumination is, even if we're down to SDR? It's a complex, complex issue, but that bottom line, that 
0.005 nits is going to be a bit problematic.